is dedicated in her memory. Welcome to Tidewater Challenge. Welcome to Granby High School and Norfolk Collegiate. Each team begins with 100 points. Opening category round, eight questions, up or down, 10 points, direct competition, no conferring. This category round, answers that begin with a letter A. Watch your monitor. Number one, please. Fifth century king of the Huns. Attila. Attila, the correct answer. Number two, the largest city in New Mexico. Granby, for Soilo. Albuquerque. Albuquerque, the correct answer. Number three, British prince, who was also the Duke of York. Granby, Prisoilo. Andrew. Andrew, the correct answer. Number four, minus 273.15 degrees Collegian, centigrade. Cur Curtis. Absolute zero. The correct answer, Curtis, absolute zero. Number five, Greek goddess of the hunt. Granby, Prisoilo. Artemis. Artemis, the correct answer. Number six, bauxite is an ore of this light metal. Alpha Collegian, Mitchell. Aluminum. That's correct, Mitchell, aluminum. Number seven, Chinese medical treatment using metal needles. Granby, Gordon. Acupuncture. Acupuncture, the correct answer. Number eight, poisonous snake that bit Cleopatra. Granby, John. Asp. Asp, the correct answer. John, that concludes the opening category round. The Granby Comets and the Norfolk Collegiate Oaks are here to meet the Tidewater Challenge. <laughs> Here's your host, Ed Tillett. Welcome to Tidewater Challenge. Welcome Granby High School and Norfolk Collegiate. Let's check the scores. Granby's jumped out to a little lead in the front, 160 to Norfolk Collegiate's 120. We have a lot of game to go. Before the game, we tossed a coin to see who would go first. Granby won the coin toss and deferred to Norfolk Collegiate. So let's meet the squad from Norfolk Collegiate. Tony, if you would, introduce yourself, please. Hello, I'm Tony D'Angelo, a senior at Norfolk Collegiate. And my interests are playing ice hockey and lacrosse. And I hope to study oceanography in college. All right, Tony, good luck with those plans, and welcome. Mitchell, welcome. Hello, thank you. My name is Mitchell Kane. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Norfolk Collegiate. My interests include playing golf, and I'd like to pursue a career in marine biology. All right, Mitchell. Ben, welcome. Hello, my name is Ben Latimer. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Norfolk Collegiate. My interests include baseball and the outdoors. Upon right. graduation, I'd like to uh, pursue a career in com commercial fishing. Sorry, Ben, I, I didn't mean to jump in on you there. Thought you weren't going to make it. Curtis, welcome. Hi, my name is Curtis Schultz, and I'm a junior at Norfolk Collegiate. Upon graduation, I plan to attend the Naval Academy. All right, Curtis, Ben, Mitchell, and Tony, the gentlemen from Collegiate. Let's get underway. Opening round, uh, correct answers are worth 20 points. There are no penalties. Team members may confer six questions, one two-part question, 140 points possible. Let's see if you can put them all on the board. You ready? Look at the uh, monitor and stop yawning long enough to see if you can rearrange these letters to name the ancient Roman road extending between Rome and Brindisac. The Appian Way. The Appian Way, the correct answer. Definition, elation, regret, exhaustion. If you were filled with remorse, you would be feeling the effects of which of these? Regret. Regret, of course, good for 20 points. This is a single question, even though it looks like a two-part. What same word from a winter weather report will yield phrases associated with writers Francois Villon and Ernest Hemingway? Same word. Repeat the question. I don't think I can in the opening round. I don't think I can. Just look at the uh, look at the monitor and figure it out. Snow, the correct answer. Snow, snows of Kilimanjaro, snow of yesteryear. I can repeat the question only in the timed round. All right, two-part question. In order to visit these two great art museums, you would go to what city in Spain and what Russian city once called St. Petersburg or Petrograd? Uh, Barcelona for the first one. Is incorrect. Madrid. Go to Madrid to visit the Prado. And Leningrad. That's correct for that one. Good for 20 points. No penalties, but no 20 points for the first part. Choice question. In the years 1944 through 45, several conferences were held to plan for the post-World War II world. Of the conferences listed held in those years, which was the diplomatic meeting from which the United Nations grew? Potsdam. Is incorrect. Dumbarton Oaks. Dumbarton Oaks. Last question. When he saw the box office receipts, he collapsed. According to one of his friends, Ludwig von Beethoven, 
had this reaction after the musical success but fiscal failure of what last Beethoven symphony, a work requiring singers. The ninth. The ninth is the correct answer. Good for 20 points, Tony. And that concludes the round for collegiate. Now, let's meet the team from Norfolk's Granby High School. Begin on the outside. John, if you would, introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is John Salinas, and I'm a 16-year-old junior at Granby High School, and my interests include tennis, and I'm a member of the North Star Robotics team. All right, John. Welcome. Gordon, welcome. Hi. I'm Gordon Davis. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Granby High School. I'm a member of the Model UN, a National Merit Scholar semifinalist, and I'm treasurer of the Granby Honor Society. All right, Gordon, welcome. Priscilla. Thank you. My name is Priscilla Lapata. I am a 17-year-old junior at Granby High School. I am a vice president of the Science Club, news editor, news editor for the newspaper, and secretary to the Key Club and Symphony Orchestra. All right, Priscilla, welcome. And Suzanne. Hi, I'm Suzanne Hugendorn. I'm a 16-year-old junior. I'm junior class president, vice president of the Key Club, manager of the tennis team, and a member of the Happy Clubs and the Friends team. All right, Suzanne, Basola, Gordon, John, welcome to Tidewater Challenge. You ready to put some more points on the board? Let's begin. Six questions, one, two, parter, you know the rules. Look at your monitor. If you go ahead and charge right at this anagram, you can rearrange its letters to name the ancient North African country that fought Rome in the Punic Carthage. Wars. Carthage. Carthage, the correct answer. If you had a remnant of cloth, you would have something that could be described by which of these phrases? Leftover. Leftover, the correct answer. What same word needs to be inserted here into the blank spaces in order to name both a Jack London novel and a play by Henrik Ibsen? Wild. Call it the wild, the wild duck, the correct answer. Our legislature is called the Congress. Now this is a two-part question, but in what far eastern and what middle eastern countries are these two assemblies, the Diet and the Knesset, the governing bodies? In order, please. Japan, Israel. Both correct, good for 40 points, Grandy. The United States has produced much presidential timber that has gone unused of the men listed who never succeeded in getting a presidential nomination. Webster. Webster. Good guess. Correct answer. Good for 20 points. Quotation. A complex, highly refined technique of dancing. This is the way one author refers to what dance form associated with Mikhail Baryshnikov and Suzanne Farrell. Ballet. Ballet, the correct answer. That completes their round. Check the score before we move on to the visual round. It is Granby High School 300 points, Norfolk Collegiate 220, and time for the visual round. In this round, we will have 10 visual clues shown on the monitor, 10 corresponding questions. You're in direct competition in this round, so it is a speed round. Keep that in mind. If you're ready, let's begin. First clue, please. This illustration from a 15th century Bible is a surprisingly whimsical depiction of what early biblical... Granby, Priscilla. Noah. Boat, described in, Gen uh, in Genesis. Noah's ark was the answer I needed. Next question. No beauty this. It's a 6th century B.C. depiction of what type of mythical monster, such as Medusa? Granby, John. Gorgon. Gorgon, whose snaky-haired features could turn men to stone. Gorgon, the correct answer there. Next question. This 1860 photograph shows Queen Victoria posing devotedly beside what beloved... Granby for Soila. Prince Albert. Prince Albert, Prince Consort, the correct answer. Next, when simplified, this expression is the log of what number? No conferring. Time. Three. Three is the correct answer. Next visual clue, please. In 1949, French critics howled sacre bleu when MGM filmed a distorted Hollywood version of what novel by Francis Gustave Flaubert? A Norfolk Collegiate, Mitchell. Madame Bovary. That is the correct answer. Mitchell, good for 10 points. Madame Bovary. This 17th century ceramic tile was one of many sold as souvenirs to Muslims who made the pilgrimage to what holy city?